This is an example of how to solve simultaneous equations. Solve 2x plus 3y equals 1 and x minus y equals 3. There are two steps. The first step is that we eliminate either the x or the y's so that we have a very simple equation to solve. What could we multiply either equation by so when we add them the x's or y's would cancel out. Well, if we multiply the second equation by minus 2, this would give us minus 2x plus 2y equals minus 2 by 3 is minus 6. And here we see if we add these two equations, 2x minus 2x is 0, they cancel out which is what we wanted, we've eliminated the x's. 3y plus 2y is 5y, and 1 minus 6 is minus 5. Dividing both sides by 5, we see that y equals minus 1. We're halfway there. We want the answer for y and for x that works. Step 2 is we substitute this answer, that y equals minus 1, into either of the original equations. Now, it doesn't matter which equation we use. The second equation, that x minus y equals 3, seems the simpler of the two. So I'm going to choose that one this time. So if x minus y equals 3, but y has the value minus 1, then we write x minus minus 1 equals 3. Minus minus 1 is plus 1. And if we subtract 1 from both sides, we see that x equals 2. And this is the solution. Now we want to check that this works. So we substitute the x value, 2, and the y value, minus 1, into both of the original equations. So the value of 2x plus 3y is 2 times 2 plus 3 times minus 1, which is 4 minus 3, which equals 1. So this does work. Also, the value of x minus y is 2 minus minus 1, which is equal to 2 plus 1, which is equal to 3. So we see both equations work with these answers.